There was no protection for my rights. There was no protection for my child's rights. You know? So when I read this, I'm thinking, you know, this, this has to be the speech from the throne from another country because it's not the country I live in. Absolutely. I agree with you there. Uh, do you think Stephen Harper supports equal parenting? And what about the other party leaders like Jack Layton and Michael Ignatieff? You know what? I don't believe that any of them support equal shared parenting. Um, I, I think their silence on the issue speaks volumes, okay? I've searched and searched, and I can't find one time when Stephen Harper has spoken out on the issue of equal shared parenting. He did, however, speak to the media a couple of years ago about the issue of violence in professional hockey in the NHL and how it has a negative influence on Canadian children. But I can't find one time when he ever spoke out on the destructiveness of the family court system in Canada and the negative influence that that's having on children. Even when it was reported, and, and I believe that this was, I'm just going to punch it up here on my computer, um, on, on Monday, August 17, 2009, it was reported in the National Post, as well as numerous other newspapers, that while speaking to the Canadian Bar Association at its annual meeting in Ireland, cap, capital of Dublin, on August 17, 2009, um, but his, his conservative justice uh, minister, Rob Nicholson, stated that he didn't support Morris Bellicott's private member's bill, C-422. Now, Stephen Harper had the perfect opportunity there to come out and correct Rob Nicholson and point Rob Nicholson to the conservative party's policy declaration in which it states that they will reform the Divorce Act to joint custody. Harper was silent. Stephen Harper never said a word. Yet, when the Governor General mistakenly uh, stated that she was the head of state for Canada, Harper was so loud in the media to remind her that she is not the head of state, that the Queen of England is the head of state for Canada. Now, when I hear something like that, you know, in, in my opinion, I could care less about the Queen. What I do care about is my children. I, I don't care that the Queen is the head of state. I mean, truth, truthfully, it, the majority of Canadians today, if you were to ask them, could tell you the, the Queen has no bearing on our life. But what does have a bearing in our life is our children, and we want our children protected. We want the Canadian family justice system reformed. But Stephen Harper has been silent on the issue, and in my opinion, his silence speaks volumes. So no, I don't believe any of them support equal shared parenting. And you know what? In my opinion, remember that the next time they ask for your vote. Absolutely. I hear you there. We have to take a short break, so stay tuned to The Single Parent Show right here on CFAO 94.7 FM. Welcome back to The Single Parent Show on CFAO 94.7 FM. Dave, what kind of changes would you like to see made to the Canadian family law system? Oh, good. That's a good question. Um, I think, I mean, I think the first change that needs to happen is uh, Bill C-422 getting passed and the presumption of equal shared parenting uh, being put in place. Um, eventually, to tell you the truth, I'd like to see the entire system just, just uh, disbanded, just, you know, just destroyed. And, and rebuilt from ground up, because it, it, it's a failing system. I mean, the, the, the truth about the system is, is it's just big business. you got a lot of people getting rich, um, and that's why they don't want to change it. Um, but, I mean, you know, as, as, as Canadian taxpayers, we, we shouldn't want a system like that in place, because it's costing us, I mean, it's costing us the, the estimate for $12 billion a year to have this failing system in place. And, and uh you know, I think it's uh, I think it's outrageous that we have to spend money like that that for, for a system that's failing our children. You know, but I think the first thing that needs to happen is Bill C four twenty two needs to be passed. And and here's here's another here's a, a question that I have. Uh, you know, for the Canadian government is why is it taking a backbench member of Parliament like Morris Bellicott to bring forth a private member's bill to bring about this change? Can't our government just put a bill out there, not a private member's bill, an actual bill before the House of Commons and get this thing passed? They can. Why aren't they? Yes, that's a very good question. I actually had a meeting with uh, Minister Georges 
in December last year regarding the bill and during our meeting and she was wonderful by the way even though it did take me five months to to get my meeting and a lot of running around I did get my meeting and she was very good in terms of listening and she was going to have her library do some personal research on the actual harmful effects of parental alienation which typically stems from high conflict divorce she was also going to have her library review the benefits of equally shared parenting and we were supposed to meet again in January to discuss the possibilities of debating the bill in Parliament then of course Parliament was prorogued. I still haven't had my follow-up meeting which I'm still working on but during my meeting she even recognized that yes the system is failing the children and and yes we do need to make some changes because our children are are being ignored basically and it's it's just very frustrating that even though they know this, they're not willing to change it. But like you said, it is a billion-dollar industry. The average divorce in Canada is approximately $30,000. Now, personally, I much rather spend that money on my child's education as opposed to throwing it away to the lawyers and judges who have no personal connection with the family dynamic that is going on. So they fluff us off. At any rate, we could go on and on about how flawed our family law system is. What I'd like to get to is the next question. And when you see a judge like Justice Brownstone come out and write a book like Tug of War and make statements like, my position is that the family court is the last place that parents in conflict should be going to to convert themselves from ex-partners to co-parents. What are your thoughts on that? You know what, honestly, I think Justice Brownstone's book, Tug of War, is nothing more than a public relations gimmick. Um, and, and, and I'll tell you why I think that, you know, like, it, it, it's good to finally see a judge um, coming out and being, you know, being somewhat honest with the, uh, with the public about the fact that, you know, th- th- these courts is not, the, the court is not really the place that a family should be going, you know. Um, it, it's good to see him coming out and doing that. But I believe he's, he's doing it more as a public relations gimmick. Um, I, I think the system is coming under such, uh, you know, criticism that, uh, you know, he thought, oh, boy, I better, better do something here to kind of uh, shift the criticism from the system and let's put it back on the parents. And and that's kind of like that's kind of like what he does, right? Because he, he he speaks about in in some of the interviews I've seen with him, and and uh, you know some of the some of the things that I've read in his book, you know he he tends to put it all on the parents. He says basically what it is is these parents are still dating each other, but they're using the court system to date each other. I think that's an absolute joke, you know. Um, I'd like to see. Here's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see Justice Brownstone come out and be honest about how many children. He's unjustly removed a parent, uh, one of their parents from their life. Come out and be honest about that. Come out and say, okay, you know what? Um, I could have ordered an equal shared parenting uh, arrangement here for this child, but I, I actually took the child's father away from him. You know, uh, I, I think it's just a PR gimmick. I think they, he knows that the system is coming under so much criticism. Uh, let's do something to kind of, you know, like uh, take the take the blame off of us, right? Because I mean, he actually comes out and says, you know, um, we're 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 not counselors. We're not, you know, uh, we're not this. We're not that. We're 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 lawyers. We're judges. Uh, these are not issues that we really know how to deal with. Give me a break. It doesn't take a uh, counselor to know that a child needs both parents in their life. 